Hmm? Yes? There was a time I dwelled amongst the Towers of Luskin, yes. For anyone interested in arcane knowledge, the Masters of the Towers have an impressive collection of artifacts. But simply being in their employ is not enough, and the things requested can even make the greatest of artifacts pale by comparison. And one day I simply could not continue to do what I did. The smallest refusal, and one is marked for death. So I came here, sought protection in Neverwinter. I moved my shop down here in the docks in the hopes of avoiding notice. Garius, yes, ambitious, driven, yet I find it strange he would be Luskin's ally in this. Luskin seems so short-sighted, and Garius's horizon is broad indeed, and he was never one to put the city's concerns first, nor were any of the mages of the host tower. Captain, a moment of your time. We caught one of the Grey Cloaks, Sergeant Dobson, accepting bribes from a caravan master. Dobson, explain yourself to the captain. Captain, I I'm sorry it's come down to this. It's true, merchants sometimes pay a little extra to speed along the process. It's almost standard practice among- Not while wearing my cloak, Sergeant. Pardon. Assuming the captain agrees with me. Some of the trade laws are too restrictive. The caravan master wanted us to ease up on some of the older laws. We're supposed to confiscate everything from Om, technically. Because some lord a century dead had a feather up his... Uh, well, you get the idea. The Grey Cloaks don't receive much of a stipend. And customs like this make it easier on us and the merchants. And are you sure that's all he's trading in? If you don't search for contraband, it could be anything. In my opinion, this sort of behavior has to be eliminated to ensure order. But the decision is yours. Nothing. N nothing, Captain. I, I don't think I've really done anything wrong. Exactly my thoughts, Captain. Dobson, turn in your cloak and your final stipend. The Captain's Grey Cloaks must obey the laws, and not just the convenient ones. Aye, Ka'ana. Thank you, Captain.
I see the moon has been at your back. You look well. The mare has grown dark and many villages needed help in leaving before it was too late. And I have sought the scent on the breeze to learn of the dark hunter, king of shadows. More can still be learned in the mare, but I have discovered something and had to tell you at once. I heard one of the scouts was asking about me. Oh, well met. You're Dagon, aren't you? Your son has... I am Dagon, yes. And you are Eleni, of the Circle of the Mare. Once of the Circle, yes. What do you want? It does concern her. It concerns you both. As I hounded the trail of the Dark Hunter and his minions, I came across something I thought lost. The druids of our lands, the Circle of the Mare, still live. That's impossible. You're mistaken. If they were alive, I would know. I can only venture to the swamp for brief periods of time. The reeds and waters feast on the living now. I followed the druids, and they had a ritual I think sustained them, even in the claimed lands. The Circle! They must have found a way to restore part of the mare. Keep it from the influence of the shadows. If so, we need to find them. They can tell us more about what's happening in the mare than anyone. And if we can get them to ally with us, we may even be able to stop what the King of Shadows is doing to the land itself. That was my thought as well. Thank you for understanding. Then you must make haste at once, if this is your course of action. No gratitude is necessary. We are at war and it must be done. I will mark the location on your map. As for now, I have other duties in the defense of the Sword Coast in this keep, and I must see to them. Your father's not one for showing emotion, is he? It's difficult to see how he raised you, and you turned out so different. He certainly did. I, for one, am pleased with the results. Regardless, we need to find the circle. But as for reaching the location, that could be difficult. Ah, uh, I thought I heard the cries of a damsel in distress. Someone had to fill Chandra's role, eh? Bishop, this doesn't concern you, so stop spying on us. My dear, with you around, it pays to be extra watchful. I like to keep an eye out to make sure you aren't trying to play our leader for a fool. And because you don't always fasten your robes as tightly as you should, sometimes I catch a glimpse of other secrets. No, oh, I will. But before you reprimand me, why don't you find out if you need a guide first, since your father seems so anxious to get away from you. So where are these friends of yours, Druidus? I'm sure we're all dying to know where they rabbited off to. They're in the mare, along the northwestern reaches, near the settlements the orcs attacked many years ago during their incursion into Neverwinter. I suspected that might be one of the places. As for the incursions, it wasn't just orcs. That's near an area the King of Shadows isn't likely to have claimed, yet. Might be a good staging area to look for your dead druid friends. Dagon says they're alive. Maybe for now. Still, if you want to go, I can guide you to a safe port on the edge of the marsh. All right. That would be welcome. Save your gratitude until we get there and see the truth. But we better leave soon. Something tells me those friends of yours may have to move around a lot if they want to avoid the shadows. Yes. Bishop's probably right. All right then. I'll set out now. I'll start scouting the path and join up with you only when need be. It'll save us all a lot of time. Uh, pardon me, Captain, but if I could just, uh, have a moment of your time... If you don't want a dagger between your ribs, I suggest you ask for alms elsewhere. The men here call you Night Captain, and these walls are yours. You have come far.
stay close and step where I step. Yeah, something you need, don't we all? They're like mythical rats or something, right? I don't know. Children's tales, maybe. But they seem pretty vague. Why? Well, then that's a guarantee they don't exist. Then I'll add that to the growing list of reasons why I don't trust you. That all you wanted to ask? I am listening. Stay close and step where I step.
The men here call you Night Captain, and these walls are yours. You have come far. Yes. Hmm. What? Yes. Perhaps so.
What's going on? Yeah, something you need. Ugh! <laughs> 
Stay close and step where I step. Stay close and step where I step.
a B or no? Glory conforms. Yes. Perhaps so. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something strange about this place. <laughs> Cauldron calling the kettle black, I think. I've heard of the poet this journal belongs to. He was relentless. The relentless poet, in fact. He disappeared many, many years ago. It seems the orc stripped the body. There doesn't seem to be anything left. Ow, 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 I stubbed my toe on something. I, ow, think so. I mean, nothing broken, but, you know, I don't see anything on the ground I could have stepped on. Unless, well, just as I suspected. I couldn't see it because it's invisible. Here, look at this. See? It appears to be an invisible instrument of some sort. Just lying around where anyone could have stepped on it and damaged it. Shameful. I wonder if it still works. Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Did you hear those lingering tones? The way the notes seem to float in the air. This instrument is able to take even the simplest breaths and turn them into beautiful music. Why? The invisibility. The music. Why didn't I think of it before? This must be a Wendersnaven instrument. No, you're right. They certainly don't. Or at least they're not here now. Perhaps the rumors of their shy nature are not an exaggeration. I am somewhat sorry for leading you on this rabbit chase, but, but, well, perhaps this amazing find is actually a gift. The Wendersnaven's way of helping us. And you know, I think that's enough. As long as we both believe, knowledge of their legendary existence will never die. Well, goodbye, Wendersnaven, wherever you are. And... Thank you so much for the gift.
Oh, yes. Hmm. What? Stay close and step where I step. You can almost feel the shadows in the air. If you stay still for too long, it's like they start clutching at you, trying to drag you down. Whatever the circle did, they must have found a way to shield themselves from it. If we can find out how they've done it, then we can reach the Vale of Meridelaine. I'm certain of it. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Here's the gathering place. Now, hold on. S something's happening. I can just make it out. I feel more at peace with each passing day. I know you sense it as well, Naven. Will silence be your only answer? Silence and contemplation is my only peace in this place. Do not forget, I am your captive, Vashni. We keep you here because we believe in the Circle. In time you will see that we are right. And when the shadow has passed, you will feel one with the land again. This isn't the mare anymore. You treat the shadow as if it were a passing mist. You fail to see how it now hangs upon you upon this whole place. We are caretakers of this land, and we cannot abandon it. We're caretakers of a graveyard. Free me from this prison, and let's stop the decay from spreading. Elders? Is it you? Elders, forgive me for not seeking you out sooner. I thought you had all died in the claimed lands. How did you... Who are the ones who follow you? Eleni, who are they? They are my allies, my friends. They helped me reach here. They have the stench of civilization and war upon them, as do you. Our path took us to Neverwinter and through many battles, but this is the one from West Harbor, Elders. The one I... the one I had been watching. The Shardbearer? You have brought the Shardbearer here? She cannot seem to tear her eyes from him. Which was the problem before, I believe. Help you? We are but recently remade, and now the one who nearly shattered us has come to break us again? A circle is not complete when one of us is missing or is too distracted with the trappings of civilization or its people. Elders, please. I did not intend. And even now, you defend yourself rather than admitting your negligence. She might as well be one of the harbormen and have shared their fate. Your fascination with the Shardbearer meant that we were less aware of the changes coming to this land until they were upon us. We are fortunate this time, that the land itself has chosen to speak. Can you not feel it in the air? A great storm is coming. It will rage across this land and scour clean the corruption of Neverwinter, of Luskin, of all civilization. The King of Shadows? So you know the threat? You think that you can give name to such a force? As if the winds were to care or think. Time and responsibility extend beyond your lifetime, Shardbearer. Your wound is both a legacy of and a catalyst for destruction. 
Shadows are a part of the cycle of life and death, just as we all are. We do not all have such narrow views of nature. Your home was cleansed, as Neverwinter shall be. Your people did not belong, praying at the edges of Merdelaine like scavengers. Who are you to ask of us? You carry within you the very symbol for your civilization's capacity for destruction. Elders, this King of Shadows, it poses a threat to us all, not just cities and towns. Have you ever seen this King of Shadows? No. Have you spoken with it? No. Then what is this King, other than a story used to explain forces greater than ourselves? I am a captive here, Shardbearer. A captive because I refuse to resign myself to madness. Eleni, the shadow is anything but natural. I don't know if the mare, if Merdelaine can be saved, but I know that we cannot accept it. We must not- Perhaps I have misjudged your value, Naven. For a druid of power, living within the folds of a tree is nothing. As the land changes, we must change with it, Elni. Stop clinging to what the mare was, and accept it for what it is now. Your friends will never see as we do, but it is not too late for you. Come back with us and help us weather this storm to its completion. Do you truly think what is coming is for the best? I... you're right. They're speaking madness. Then you are lost to us forever. I am sorry, Eleni, but we have no choice. And you, Shardbearer. You have been allowed to spread your influence for far too long. Yeah. Hmm. What?
Stay close and step where I step. Men here call you Night Captain, and these walls are yours. You have come far.
I have to lighten this load.
targets. Regret that. <laughs> oh! 